Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today we'll be covering how to create simple 2D transitions. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first one I want to be showing you guys, it's a really simple effect but it looks really nice. So to achieve this effect, let's click on our rectangular tool, double click it to fill the composition, make the color black for the first one. And at the moment it's a rectangle, so we want this to be a square. So you want to click on twirl down rectangular path one and uncheck the chain in size and make the right value 1920. So both of the values are 1920s, making them a square. So click on this uh, shape layer, click R and make the rotation 45 degrees so that it looks like a diamond. Click S to bring up the scale properties and go to the very start and make it zero. Hit the stopwatch, go up almost a, 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 sec a minute, a second, sorry, and make the scale, drag that all the way up until it fills the composition. So if you watch that now, it's just a really simple diamond that basically gets bigger. So it looks kind of bland, so let's highlight our um, keyframes. Click F9 or right click it, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Go to the graph editor. And we want this to slowly increase in speed and then slowly decreases in speed. So to do this, we'll drag both of the handles to its opposite direction. So, th so the left handle to the right side and your right handle to the left side. So now if we watch it, you can see it's a much smoother animation. Now we've done that, let's select our shape layer one and you want to click Control D, which is a duplicate shortcut. Control D one, two times. And you want to select your second one, change the fill color to gray and change the toppest color to white. So now we can drag the uh, layers to stagger them. So drag this one forward just a little bit, and drag this one forward a little bit. So now let's play the animation. And you know what, that took like three minutes. And we've got a really nice animation. So for this next transition, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, complex, but it's still really easy in my opinion. So, the first thing we're going to do is select our rectangular tool again. And let's draw out a little a bit like a line. Like so, you want to center your anchor point right in the middle and align the rectangle shape in the middle. So, go into your rectangular one, your rectangular path one, and you want to uncheck the chain. Now, if you don't know what this chain does, it basically locks your aspect ratio. So if it's locked and I move one value, the other value will move as well. And if it's unchecked, then I can move each of these values individually. So at the very start, I want to make this 42, make that a little smaller. And make this one a little smaller as well. Make that zero actually at the very start. So the first value is going to be zero and the second value is going to be 25. Set the keyframe. Move up maybe like that make this drag that up like that so it just slowly gets bigger and then what I want to do is I want to select my shape layer hit hold shift and then R sorry click U first and then hold shift and then R to add on a rotation property so click on this rotation property right here move up a couple of frames and I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees just like so and then in the size property I'm going to drag um sorry drag the first value until you reach the top of the composition so let's do this just like so it could be a little over it doesn't have to be perfect like that so now, as you can see, it gets bigger, rotates. And the final thing we want, we want to do, move up a little bit, 
and expand this value. Now you could use the scale property to adjust all these values, but I just prefer using the actual size. So now if we watch it, it's not that good at the moment. It's quite s not that smooth, but I mean, it's something. All right, nice. So now let's start uh, making this smoother. First thing I'm gonna do is select these two keyframes and make that easy is all right now click on this one just to zoom into that specific property and I want to uh, highlight these two move that up here and move this this way so if you watch th this now as you can see it slowly increases and slowly decreases so now we um, select these two keyframes, actually make this one easy ease, and make these ones also easy ease. Now select these two top ones, I mean like we're doing anyways, um, click this button here, and you can see it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So what we're going to do is select the zoom property, click control and scroll up. Oh, whoops. Okay. Don't select the zoom property. Control and scroll up. And now you can see it's a little more visible. So the green and the red is the um, the scale size properties. And the blue is the rotation. So I'm just going to select everything. And move this to the right. Select everything here. And move that to the left. So now if we watch that. it's really nice it's really smooth now for the final one uh, let's make this one easy ease so now you want to select those two final keyframes go into your graph editor and just drag the green one to the opposite direction just like so all right sweet so now if we watch this animation, hit the uh, preview button. It's kind of hard to see. Let's just make this color black. Or we can just turn off transparency. All right. Nice. It looks really nice and it's quite an easy effect to accomplish. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope these two transitions uh, help you out in your future intros or motion design projects so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you guys next time peace